Hi guys, this is Angel from PRGV Entertainment. Welcome once again to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine. Now in this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to make a main menu for your game. Now this is going to be really, really, cr uh, really great. It's going to be intensive and there's going to be a lot of options and a lot of tutorials for this project because I'm going to be creating a project in virtual reality and in the future we will have like more options I'm going to show you guys a lot of more things so what are we going to do in this one first of all we're, we're going to start creating the project it's going to be a VR project and what are we what we're going to do here is that we're going to create three blueprints one is going to be the game mode the second one is going to be a blueprint uh, for a play controller that we're going to be telling the engine that we're going to be using a mouse and the third blueprint is going to be a widget plus we need to create a new level so we can have it fresh and blank and we're going to upload a bunch of images for buttons that we're going to be adding to the widget but the buttons uh, I'm going to explain it on another tutorial that will be coming up like in 30 minutes now first let's organize everything and I'm going to create a new folder it's going to be my content files right and this one I'm going to create the folder PRDB images so I can import all the images that I want the next one is going to be PRDB blueprints there we go let's import our images first of all Alright, we got normal buttons here and we got the buttons that are going to be pressed that is uh, they are not blue they're just negative images that probably uh, depending on the background that we use it could change the color right now this one's with this background looks black when you when you put it on the game so let's import these now let's go back to our content files <coughs> and I do not want to start our main menu on this scene because it already has a bunch of things so I want to start with something fresh and new for that right click click on level put a name to it main level I'm putting everything with PRDB you can use it whatever name you want just remember where you put everything and which names do you gave it do you give to them now let's go to our blueprints folder and from here we need to create a game mode do not choose the game mode base that you see here uh, when you try to pick the parent class just toggle all classes search for game mode and choose the one that says only game mode now put a name to it I'm gonna put PRDB game mode now we need to create a class that's going to be a player controller for our mouse now create a blueprint this one's going to be player controller it's going to be PRDV mouse control and our third blueprint is going to be a widget so right click go to user interface widget blueprint this one's going to be PRDV main widget okay now first go go and open up the PRDB mouse control you're gonna change some options here so we can tell what exactly the mouse is gonna be doing so on your right go to the mouse interface and choose show mouse cursor enable it enable click events enable the touch events the mouse over events and the touch over events so we got these five enabled right now plus I will I will also like to say that this is the latest version of the Unreal Engine the 4.12 just in case you get lost just search uh, slowly so you find everything so save close we do not need to do anything else on the mouse control now we need to go to our uh, PRDB game mode so open up the game mode go to the event graph let's delete the event tick I don't need it now for the event begin play a lot of you people know some don't that event begin play everything that you set up here will start as soon as you start the game so let's add a couple of things and first of all gonna, we're going to create our widget 
and we're going to choose the class that is the PRDB main widget that we just created a couple of seconds ago. Now on the return value we're going to tell him to add it to the viewport. From here he will show it, he will show everything on our screen, everything that has the main menu. And for the only player we need to tell him to get the controller, so it's going to be player controller. Why? Because we want to tell him what exactly is that we are going to be using. And in this moment, what we are going to be using is going to be the mouse. Later on in the future, I will tell you guys how we can add gamepad options and other kinds of things. Now, the other one, this is the tricky part here. You need to set input mode game and UI. Why? Because this is the thing that will tell, this is the function that will tell exactly that the mouse has to be uh, focusing here on a widget, it has to be on top of a widget, and it's not supposed to be working with nothing else. Now, let's link it up with the viewport, and the target is going to be our controller, that is going to be the mouse, that's what we're going to be using at the moment. Now the focus is, has to be on the return value of our widget because he has to focus on this one only. Now from here, the mouse is supposed to work, the viewport is supposed to get everything that we have on our widget, on our main menu, that everything that we add, images, buttons, whatever you put. So save. Now let's save everything. <coughs> now we finished setting up the mouse control blueprint plus also the PRDV game mode. We still need to work with the widget. But before continuing here, go to your right at your world settings. If you do not have this, this uh, window here, go to the window to the top of the Unreal Engine and click on world settings and you will get the tab world settings at your right. Now from here, go to game mode on the game mode you need to choose the one that we created that is supposed to be PRDV game mode or whatever your name you just put for your game mode blueprint and now toggle select the game mode and from here on the default pawn class you can leave this in none HUD you can disable it or you can leave it in HUD the player controller has to be the mouse control that is the one that we have here so right now we're telling him that we're using these two blueprints that we have here on the game mode overwrite plus on the player controller class Okay, so from here you'll need to do nothing else. Let's save everything. And now let's go to our main widget. From here we're going to start designing whatever we want to put on the menu. So I'm going to start adding an image here. It's going to be the background. And it's blank because we haven't still tell them what image it's going to be using. So for the anchors, I'm going to tell them to span the whole screen just in case we resize the game, the window, or we have some functions later on for resolutions, so different type of resolutions that it could change. So it just will expand to each side, top and bottom. Okay? So now in the appearance, let's go to brush, to brush, toggle it, and let's go to the image here, and let's search for our background. It's going to be a BG menu. There we go. Now I'm going to add two more images here. This one is going to be blood top. Oh, I just moved this. That's bad. Okay. There we go. And the third image is going to be children of pain. Do not ask why am I using this name. It's a secret. A secret. Okay? So now let's add the vertical box because we want to put every button inside the vertical box. So if in a moment we need to hide this vertical box, we want to hide every button inside that it's going to have, we don't need to go to each button and add functions to hide each button one by one. We just need to hide the vertical box and that's it. Okay, so let's start adding the buttons here. One, two, three, four. 
the play, the options, the about, and the quit game. Now let's change the name of them so we know which buttons we are working with. BT options. No. Oh. Well. BT play. Okay. BT options. BT about. BT quit game. There we go. So let's test this out so you can see that the mouse is already working and the viewport is going to show us our main menu. So let's compile, let's save, let's close it up. Uh, test it on standalone game. Do not test it on the viewport only because sometimes uh, some functions do not work on the standalone and, it's, uh, and they only work on viewport. So every time that you test your project, try to make the test always as standalone. There we go. So we got our buttons working here. As you can see, mouse does not the mouse stays always on the menu. That's great. We're doing great. And now let's resize this. So as you can see, everything gets resized. Now I forgot to, to put an anchor to this to put it on the middle. I'm gonna do it really quick. This one's gonna be top, bottom, middle. There we go. Uh, compile, save, close, play once again. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. We need to open the uh, the other level. Okay, so we got everything here on the middle. That's great. Now let's open up the other level because I think I didn't create it right. So we need to create. We need. We want something fresh and new. We do not want to use this level. We want like to start loading an entire level or something like that. Let's just create a blank level. This one is going to be on. Oh, we already did it. Here it is. I just didn't open it. Now here we go. Now we have our blank level. Doesn't matter. If you open up the level, you need to go back to your game mode settings. Choose the game mode that you created. In this case, it's PRDB game mode. And it automatically chooses the mouse control that we just inserted as a, as a controller. So if we open it up, it will still give us our main menu. There we go, guys. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the other tutorial. It's gonna be uploaded like in 30 minutes, so just give it a couple of minutes. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, so you can stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload for you guys. And if you like the the video, hit the thumbs up. If you got any questions, just leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer you back. Bye.